They are indeed. And this is the first one that I've seen on this particular gardenia that's at Treehouse Dam. I've been looking and hoping that this gardenia will flower. And that's the first little bud of a flower that's starting. So soon we're going to have a bush that will be covered in these beautiful creamy white flowers. And as they start to age, so they'll start to turn a more yellow color. But that's the beginning stages of it. You can just see the tip of it where it's going to start splitting out and forming the petals a little bit later. So they have a beautiful flower and becomes very aromatic, this plant. It's wonderful to actually see. So I'm super glad to see that. Philip, you're asking which flowers am I looking forward to returning to this area? Oh, lots. There's so many flowers that cause a bit of color. Oh, there's actually an older yellow flower that's already opened and is now drying up and shriveling. So that's the yellow color it will turn after being creamy white. And you can see that one's all a little bit dry. It's been blasted by this heat that we've had over the last few days. But Philip, um, I think probably my favorite flowers that we see in the summertime uh, roadside Pimpinelle is one of them. Um, I like the blue comelinas, yellow comelinas, yellow justitias. Um, what else do we I see? The, oh, the African violets. They're always very pretty as well. So those are some of the more common ones that we'll see quite a lot of. I really like those. But my